Welcome back, everybody, to part 12. I think part 12. Oh, I'm not sure. Again, y'all will know when this video goes up. We're, now we're going to make our way over to Parm. Um, so something I wanted to ask was... So a friend of mine was telling me that they were trying to get into this game. And they said one of the harder things to, about it is that although they are enjoying the let's play they said they said like all of the pointless dialogue like and the fact that you don't know it's pointless until either someone points it out to you or until you realize oh this was pointless dialogue like i could just skip all this they said like that's some of the hardest part about or the hardest stuff about this game is that like you have a lot of this pointless dialogue which I think I've said before, if I haven't, I'll just say it again. There is some dialogue where it's kind of like, uh, they didn't have to add that. Like, I do understand that it adds to the overall, um, it adds to the overall appeal of the game because there's a lot of dialogue. They go really in depth. They show a lot of stuff off. Like they make it feel like a real life thing. Like, like if I was Reen or I was, x y x character y character whatever i would be having a lot of these dialogues there would be a lot of these moments so i think that's one of the things i do really like about it although i do admit there is a lot of pointless dialogue but i would love to hear how some of y'all feel about all of the extra dialogue like a bit of it i have like like i will admit if maybe it was toned down a little bit not too much because again i like the appeal of it it adds to the overall appeal of the game but i will admit there is some where it's just like uh, like this one coming up right now not this part but when we um head out of st arc and we talk to this guy again there is some really like this dialogue is a bit long and it's just like we didn't need the entire thing i really want to skip it but because this is a let's play i'm not gonna skip it that's the only reason i won't skip it but i really want to because my goodness this part is really boring but yeah i would definitely love to hear how y'all feel about that because i've heard that from actually a couple people now that some of it is just unbearably annoying and and it just really drags out. Uh, do we have anything else we have to do here? Not that I can think of. Um, we still need to go pick up Freddy's quest at the field exercise camp. I think I'm gonna pick that up on the way to Parm. I think we actually go to the field exercise camp after this anyways. Um, so I think I'll go pick that up afterwards. I don't think there's anything else I need to do here. How much money do I have? Eh, let's go let's go get something from the shop let's go get something from the shop uh let's see i what do you have isn't that, isn't that what she's selling okay none of these really yeah those aren't really that helpful and i actually bought a bunch of stuff when i was running back through um oh yeah, that was another question so that was actually another question i had i think i'm gonna ask it after this though yeah i'll go ahead and ask it after this long dialogue like just really watch this dialogue though it's really just like it's really extra on this one by the way i'm just so mad that uh we don't get the horse that matches rain rain does not ride the horse that almost matches him to a t besides the burgundy everything else matches him and i think the hair too maybe the hair too I'm just so annoyed by it. Like, Kurt, stay away from my horse. That 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 should that should have been my horse. Look at, I'll take this one. Kurt, you take the other one. Always annoyed me. Like, see, it's just eh. Like, it's that's a funny part, but other than that, it's like eh. We didn't need it. All right, let's go ahead and make our way through this. I don't know. I feel like we didn't need all of it. And then look, this is an extra part. 
But, alright. I'm gonna try to make my way through this. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So, we go back to the exercise camp so we can go report um, the archaisms that we ran into in part 11. Yeah, this should be 12. If this is part 11, I'm gonna be so mad. So, okay. I, I don't need this. Yep. Alright. Yeah! <laughs> come on, Kurt! Faster! Faster! Yeah, come on, Kurt. Stop faster, so faster. Up. Yeah. Please don't let go. Yahoo! <laughs> you don't have to force yourself to be as excited as Yuna. Okay, so that was my question. Uh cause there is no real voice dialogue coming up. And this question is a bit of a spoiler for Trails of Cold Steel 4. So if you haven't played Trails of Cold Steel 4, by the way, it's up on my channel. If you haven't played it, you can go watch it, check it out, come back to this. Um, but actually, Paul, you should probably watch this one if you haven't played Trails of Cold Steel 4. And then go play Trails of, and then go watch Trails of Cold Steel 4. But um, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. So I don't know if you want to mute it. What do you want to do? Um, three, two, one. Okay, so for y'all that are still here. And not the beginning, beginning of Trails of Cold Steel 4, but like after you do all of the, uh, after you have that fight against uh, Alberic and Claire, um, what's it called? So after you have that fight and then you go, then you become, or you, you switch over to the new class seven, you know, all of them. Wh whose dream are you in? Like, are you seeing that through Yuna's dream? Through Kurt's dream or through Ali's dream? Altina. For y'all that don't, y'all that call her um, Altina. Because I always found that part weird. Like, and why are you having that dream of all things? Like, I don't get why they weren't able to, um, why they weren't able to recognize Reen. I, I, that whole part's kind of confusing to me. Cause like, again, I don't know who's, like side we're seeing this from and I don't understand why they don't remember Reen. I don't get that. I don't know, that's just me. There, there's no real way to um, let anybody know that they can unmute if they need to unmute. <laughs> so, unmute guys. This would be a lot easier with a camera, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this with a camera. Maybe I'll do like another Let's Play with a camera, but um, not this one. Speaking of another let's play though, I'm thinking of either doing Fire Emblem next, or not 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 next, but on the side, or maybe Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure which one which one I want to do. I kind of want to do Breath of the Wild just because I can have fun with Breath of the, like I, I can have fun with this one too, but like I could just do random stuff with Breath of the Wild. There's so much random stuff I could do in that game. And there's like a bunch of like big bosses I could fight too. This game doesn't really have any big bosses. Like how Trails of Cold Steel 4 has like those big, um, I forgot the beast name, but they have like those big beasts that you could take on. And then that was one of the things I'm thinking about doing. So I've done Trails of Cold Steel 4 already, but I kind of want to do it again. One, because of how it started messing up towards the end. With a lot of the, um, or not towards the end, but like, really, it started messing up with a lot of the, um, when like I would do like the S crafts, it w they wouldn't look as clean. So I'm thinking I want to do it again, but this time on Nightmare through New Game Plus. So I'm not sure if I want to do it yet. I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'll do it after this one. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet though. Or maybe I'll do it at the end after I do Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2. Maybe I'll go back and do Trails of Cold Steel 4 on Nightmare. I'm not sure though. But let me know if y'all that was something if that would be something y'all would want to see. Like I said, they really drag these conversations out. They should have added voice dialogue here. Um, Kurt, you're kind of right. I don't know the 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 reason was never really explained why Class Seven was made. Like it's. Like there's a reason given, but um, Prince Oliver says there's more than it's it's more than just that though, and it's never fully explained what the whole reason is. I think I think I've even said before that the reason it was it was um the reason Class Seven was made 
but because they wanted students like especially during that time to go out and see the world and not just pick a side just because oh you're supposed to pick this side or you're supposed to pick that side or like oh you're supposed to just do the military thing and do nothing else like they wanted like Oliver wanted them to experience the world to experience stuff out of just Arabonia like um you go to you go to like like the far reaches of Arabonia I think there's one place you go to that's outside Arabonia maybe two or maybe three I'm not exactly sure I can't remember exactly but like yeah I don't know why this class seven was made exactly because we're not going through the exact same things we're going through in trail of the coast still one and two so i'm not sure i don't know if this class was just made so this class was made by i'm gonna assume um aurelia Le Guin. i'm not sure if it was made because she encounters um rain in class seven and all them and sees like exactly how they are and like everything they stand for maybe that's the reason why she wanted to keep the class seven here but i'm not sure again i was kind of reading all that but i was kind of like talking at the same time Class seven special op missions are acknowledged from every side as the formula formal breaking I couldn't even freaking read that. Yeah, so like yeah, so with the old one oh oh wow okay. I didn't think it was, I didn't think they were too. Well, there's the answer. I forgot that it was the principal, the professor, and everyone in the Imperial. That is true. That is definitely true. I just barely realized his, his, his face is making that, um, but that like err sound like that err face where you have like your teeth clenched together and all that yeah stop your fucking complaining kurt I think it's Kurt that just really draws stuff out for me. I think it really is just Kurt that draws a lot of conversations out. But yeah, okay, so that was made, this class seven was made by, um, I was right, the principal, um, Professor Schmidt and the Imperials. Not sure we got the whole reason why. Reen's reasoning was kind of, that didn't seem like the whole, that didn't seem like the whole reason why. But then again, like I said, I was kind of paying attention to that. I was, also, I was also trying to talk. At the same time, it's hard to talk and read. All right, so now let's go head over to Parm. That said, I still have much to learn. I'm not even halfway to being skilled enough. Really? Really? I did not think we get his S-Craft that early. Oh, can we not get Freddy's quest? Well, we're not getting Freddy's quest. <laughs> Never mind. I thought we still could. Wow, I did not think we get. I'm not getting the stupid horses. I don't care about those damn horses. Oh, I do need to go back though. I'm gonna go back after this. I'm gonna go back and rest up so I can heal everybody. C heal everybody CP and HP. I think we go check that too. Yeah. Okay, but let's turn around though, guys. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow, I didn't I thought we get um 
I could have sworn we get Kurt's S craft once we go to um his hometown or home whatever the hell they are. Ready? I'm not exactly sure what each part is called. Because Crossbell is its own providence. Well, was. Uh, how refreshing. Oh my god. <laughs> That sound is so freaking weird in my ear. Okay, that was extra loud on my headset and um, that sounded mad weird. I didn't need to hear all that in my ear. You know, I did not need to hear you basically just moan in my ear. That's, that's, that's not what I was trying to hear right now. That was random as hell. I don't know how loud that is for y'all. I have to check back and recording, but man, that was loud for me. How do we, how do we summon the horse? Ah, eh, screw it. Let's get the horse. Hey, give me the damn horse. All right, let's go. Time to ride. Yeah. Time to ride. Yeah. Let us ride. My trusty steed. I don't have a name for it, but it's very trusty. Okay, I'm gonna get the horse though. It's I can not change the Altina. Oh, because I went from. I wonder how can I control it with the back person? I mean... huh. Like I said, I have still not figured out how to fix that. I don't know why that delay is. If anybody could tell me why that delay is, I would very much appreciate it. Because I don't know where that delay comes from. I keep pressing the wrong button because I was just playing. um. Trails of Cold Steel 4. That's actually where I got that question from that I was asking earlier. There! Take them down! Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the one we're going. Oh, never mind. My turn. So there's some enemies. I don't know if it's this game as well, but there's some enemies that you can only take down with arts. <laughs> like, you can take them down with the craft, but it'll take forever. It's mine. You only do like one one point of damage. Let's go. Go ahead and take this stupid bird out. My turn. Stupid damn Furo. We're gonna Nana, activate. activate. Fire. Open fire. How did you miss? Like, Very how well. did you miss a hit that went right to it? Let's go. Sit. Yeah. Here I go. Get him, Yuna. <laughs> well, look at that. There was no point in battling that. I thought that was gonna be one of those like harder enemies. Not like the real hard one, but like one of the harder ones that would give us a lot more points. That sucked. Whoa, it totally has been derailed. Let's ask Major Michael about it since he's down there. Oh yeah, yeah, don't worry. Don't ask us any questions. Don't say, oh, you can't, oh, you can't proceed. Don't, don't ask us any of that. Y'all didn't want to add that part. Oh my goodness. That's a rock. That's a big rock. But did somebody just come drop a rock on the track? Or what happened? And like, who dropped the rock? And where did the rock come from? Because none of the nothing is missing. <laughs> this, this, this is random as hell. Today at 11.52 a.m. the train was derailed by this fallen rock. This rock that came out of nowhere that we don't even know where it came from. Fortunately the rock wasn't too big to begin with and since it broke into smaller pieces upon landing. Okay. That's... Okay. Do, do, do you know where the rock came from though? We investigated the site thoroughly but found no trace of anything such as explosives. Between that and the engineer's testimony, we can assume it was a landslide due to natural causes. A landslide from where? From where, Major Michael? There's a bridge to your right and a bunch of unmoved land to your left. That's not even high enough to cause a landslide. In any event, maintenance of the engine has come has been completed, so normal operations will continue will resume shortly. By the way, there weren't any unidentified metal pieces found nearby, were there? Huh. 
I have already been informed. Archaisms have been cited, correct? How do you know? I don't know why I just said how do you know. Never mind. Just forget it. My subordinates found no traces of them in, in their search of the area. If there was the possibility, I will defeat them easily, for I am Major Michael. Michael speaking. Didn't you have to say, you have to say Major Michael? Hmm, fine. Hey, uh, Rain, your little girlfriend wants to, wants to talk to you. And they got FaceTime? That's insane. Y'all got FaceTime. When the hell do these games take place? I need it. I need to know when these games take place. Did anyone ever ever see if there was like a year? Or do we only see the month? Because it looks like it takes because like they don't have TVs. But they have FaceTime and cars. I think they have cars. Yeah, they have cars. It's so weird. The Chancellor. That's mm -hmm. the blood and iron chance. Gilead Osborne. Oh, look! Look at Rain caring for his girlfriend. He's he's such a nice guy. He's just an overall great, overall great guy. I, I meant to say all around, all right? All around overall, same thing. Now can we please go to Parm? Because we've been trying to go for go to Parm for the past two parts now. It's been over almost two hours, and I just want to go to Parm, guys. Let me go. Yeah, they have cars. There's a damn car here. I'm hella stupid. I just noticed Major Michael got drip. He drippy as hell. Look at that. Look at this man drip. He got the trench coat with the hat to the side. Look at look at my guy. Clean shoes too? My guy trippy. You remind me of um Nam Namin? Namin from I think it's his name from uh Jujitsu Kaisen. He has a hard ass. <laughs> oh, never mind. He was a hard ass. I thought I said he. he I thought, never mind. I can't read today. Guys, can we just go to Parm, please? That's all I want to do is go to Parm. Wait, what are the two remaining locations? Um, no, no, wait, how do you, oh my gosh, how do you, how do you do it? Wait, wait, hold on, how do you, just, oh my gosh, how the heck do you freaking check the stupid thing again? No, uh, here we go. What are the other two quests? We only have one. Did we do this? Oh, this is way earlier. I don't, I don't know what the other quest is in Parm, but okay. Yeah! I only remember there being one. I guess they just added a second one and they'll tell us about it later. Well, if it isn't... <laughs> well, well. Seems like some annoying flies started buzzing around. And it's such an important time, too. Stall Ritter. Miss Duvali the Swift. It's been a year and a half. Black Rabbit's changed a bit. But he looks completely different. I guess it's not surprising for a boy his age. He has a long way to go, though. Duvali got googly eyes. <laughs> what are you so happy about? I, I am not happy. <laughs> I had a feeling when we ran into each other earlier. Seems like he might be even stronger than I've heard. I wonder who's stronger, him or Dolphy? I'm getting kind of excited just thinking about it. The Red Reaper. He is certainly impressive. But either way, none of them are a match for us. Not even her. We might as well leave them be. They'll serve as a nice little distraction for us. That's all well and good, but... 
Can I just have a little taste? Mm. Weirdo. Ugh, you enforcers. Listen up! We're finally about to restart the big plan we've been working towards this whole time. I heard you're working directly under the third Anguis, so why don't you take this a little more seriously? Come on! Let's just have some fun while we've got the chance. What? Ah! What? what are you? Ah! Uh, turn away, turn away. Ah! Hmm. The armor makes them seem small, but they're actually about as big as Lady Bell's. They don't quite stack up to what your two friends have been blessed with, but I still like them just fine. Hey! Quit messing around! Cut it out! Um... Okay. This girl is out of control! Uh, mother... No! My lord! Mm. All right, then. Think I'll make my grand return to the Empire as flashy as possible. Seems like I certainly won't be wanting for opponents. If I'm lucky, I might even draw out a surprise guest or two. Okay, so now I have gotten three times where somebody has moaned into my ear. And I also have my thumbnail for this episode. That's also the reason I put her as um, last episode's uh, thumbnail is because I think because like obviously she relates very much to the encounters for hey those of y'all who don't know. We strike. And the third anguish, uh, I'll go ahead and tell it now because uh, I don't I don't, I don't want to tell it, but I do want to tell it because I, I'll just say this: strike. we, there. from my memory, don't ever it's run into the third anguish in this game. From my memory, right. I could be completely Set. wrong, Striker. and go ahead and kill me in the comments if I am. But from, from my memory, uh, I don't remember it. us ever facing the third anguish in this it's game. My turn. In Trails of Cold Steel 4, we do. Trails of Cold Steel 3, we don't. Sit. Again, I could be completely wrong. I shall go. And I'm I'm open to being wrong. I just Raging don't remember us formation. ever facing her. But now. the third anguish, she's um, she. Yeah is i think we Very might well. see her in, in another game though besides four uh, she's not related to as in like literally related to them but she has a lot of connections with um the um, what's her name uh the sss uh, that's all i'll say so i won't give it away too much but i'll rush her i got it yeah. Yeah. But yeah i have now gotten Let's three go. people moaning in my ear today Thank you very much. And that technically Get was um, the R word. Y'all know the R word. My turn. Yeah. There. Instructor Ring. Instructor Ring. Yeah. I didn't even need to do that. They were going to finish it off either way. Was my support helpful? Yeah. Thanks as always. Great job, you two. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Okay, so I said last episode that um, Okay, so I said, my bad, uh, my dog was barking. I didn't want that on the background. Okay, so I said last episode that um, my favorite overall music was from Trails of Cold Steel 2. I want to make a quick correction on that. Well, I, I, I said my favorite music in the game. My favorite overall music is from Trails of Cold Steel 2. My favorite overall song, like opening, is Trails of Cold Steel 4's opening. I have it saved on my phone. It is the best opening of all these games. <laughs> It's really my favorite opening in like video games like in, in like just overall ready? video games and I should not have battled these. Oh great. Let's go. Raging this is really annoying. Formation. 
That's why I actually saved the game right there though, because that was going on in the background. Second form, down. My turn. Uh, yeah. Dang, what the heck? Goes away quick. Ah, uh, strike. I always feel like I lose Kurt's CP so quickly, and I feel like I barely even use his his, 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 uh, his crafts. Uh, Gemini Blast. Yeah, we're gonna hit more. Fire! Go get him, Kurt and Yuna. Leave it to me. Why do they only attack one? Now. That was freaking pointless. Let's go see Kurt's Ragnar strike. Behold. The dual blades of Vander. Now, ah! I'll end it. Ha! Ragnar, strike! So I always found it kind of funny that um. So I made a comment in my Trouble Coast before Let's Play that Kurt's character looks a lot like I'm up. uh Joshua from. The Trails in the Sky games. I always found it really funny that his S craft looks a lot yeah. like Joshua's uh, Phantom like Raid. Obviously, he doesn't do like the multiplication thing I that Joshua does, but other than that, they look almost the exact Bring same. Activate fire. And that's Here all I'm gonna go. say because if I say anything else, I will be giving a spoiler for um, Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, okay, then you too. It's mine. Back him up, Altina. Now, transform. Sync complete. Sync complete. Go, Go. Arcadius, Arcadius gear. gear. Ready, launch. Brianak, open fire. Brianak, open fire. Exterminating target. Huh? Ah. Get him, Altina. Wow. Oh, it took the break from Very us. Ah, well. uh, that sucks. Um Okay, let's just go ahead and hit. And then we yeah, we'll use a we'll use it it's next time. So we're gonna get a it's free mine. free a uh, free order anyway. It's my turn. Um let's go Evan Crest. Now you know what? Let's go Raging Fire. Let's go. Raging Fire Formation. I think I'll finish this off with uh Rain. I'm up. We have enough. Crimson Slash! Now. Nice! Let's, Let's go! go. I didn't even need to use my S craft. I didn't even need to use it. Oh, I'm mad about that. Whatever. My blade. Calm, Calm as, still, as still, water. still water. Now! Now! Strike! Ha! Seventh Slash! Fallen leaves. Fallen leaves. Nice. Ooh. Everyone okay? Okay, we got Altina leveled up from that. That's cool. Stats updated. That was worth it, I guess. I'll take that. I'll take that update. Update. I mean, uh, I'll take that level up. Finally made a freaking parm. After trying to go here for the past two episodes. It might even be three. 2 p.m. in Palm. I think in farm might be somewhere else. Nope, never mind. 2 p.m. in farm. I really like the music in this. I think the music in this city is maybe my top. My top three for sure. Top wow, three. what a beautiful town. Parm, the spinning town. The southernmost town of the Empire. This is my first time here too, but it's just as breathtaking as I was told. Oh yeah, that's right. Ring didn't get to go. This that was the other group, group that did. Visited for their first field study. <laughs> <laughs> you said you lived here till you were ten, right? Does seeing it again bring back any memories? Yeah, there are some old acquaintances here too. But more importantly, should we look for those monsters? No, there are requests we need to take care of, so let's look around town first. 
We might be able to get some info on the archaisms and the derailing incident while we're at it. Kurt, can you guide us? Yes, of course. What? Are you embarrassed to see those old acquaintances of yours again? You said your family's training hall is here too, correct? Not anymore. The Parm training hall was closed at the end of last year. That said, someone may still be there, so I'd like to stop by at some point. Oh, I see. Hmm, closed? Well, for now, Kurt, I'll leave this to you. So, just tell us where we should head. Understood. Let's be off. Okay, that makes more sense why Kurt got his um his S craft now. I forgot that he lived here for a, a while and the training hall is here as well. I always forget the training hall is here. The Vander School of Something. Forgot the exact name. All right, well, we made a part, but that'll be the end of it for this part, which again, I think is part 12. If not, eh, y'all y'all figure out when this episode goes up. Uh, Definitely hope y'all enjoy this. Uh, as y'all see, I have this little thing saved right here, just in case the volume is not working on this one, but I'm pretty sure it is though, because everything looks good on my side. So that'll be it for now. Again, links to my um, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Arch Journey Facebook group are all in the description below. Definitely appreciate anyone who goes and gives a little checkout for me. And once again, I appreciate um, everybody for checking out this series. I hope y'all enjoying this series. If you are, remember to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, turn notification bell on. All that good stuff. But for now, I'm out. Have a good day, everybody. Peace.